Alright, in this video we're going to talk about integrating rational functions of trig expressions. Uh, here's an example. Integral of d theta divided by 4 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta. Here's another one you might see. Integral of cosine squared y plus 3 sine y over 1 plus 3 cosine y dy. So uh, looking at these it may not be obvious how you would do these and we're going to use a transformation of variables. We're going to say that u is tangent theta over 2 and when you do that you would find that d theta would be 2 du over 1 plus u squared. And we're not going to worry about how you get that expression we're just going to see how to use it to do the integrals. And you'd also find that sine theta is 2u over 1 plus u squared cosine theta is 1 minus u squared divided by 1 plus u squared. So the procedure is basically just to transform your sines and cosines and the differential using these expressions and then when you get your answer in terms of u you invert converting it to tan theta over 2. So we'll start with a simple example. Here's the integral of d theta over 1 minus sine theta. So remember d theta is 2 du over 1 plus u squared and so the integral of d theta over 1 minus sine theta goes to the integral of 2 du divided by 1 plus u squared over 1 minus sine theta. Now we're, we need to replace the sine theta expression which is 2u over 1 plus u squared by definition and we get the integral of d theta divided by 1 minus sine theta is the integral of 2 du divided by 1 plus u squared times 1 minus 2u over 1 plus u squared. Now we just do a little bit of algebra. We'll pull in the 1 plus u squared term, multiply it by the other term on the bottom there, and we get 2 times the integral of du over u squared minus 2u plus 1 and it turns out that's a perfect square so we have 2 integral du over u minus 1 squared. So this is basically a elementary integral now all we have to do is do a substitution and we'll take v equals u minus 1 so dv is just du and now we've got 2 times the integral of v to the minus 2 dv which is minus 2 1 over v plus the constant of integration or minus 2 over u minus 1 plus the constant. Uh, so that's just a basic integral I'm sure you know how to do that. So now we go back and we take u is tangent theta over 2 and there's the answer the integral of d theta over 1 minus sine theta is 2 divided by 1 minus tangent theta over 2 plus the constant of integration. Alright now let's do a more complicated example and this one's going to force us to uh, call upon not just substitution techniques but we're going to also have to use partial fractions which is pretty common with these types of integrals. So we've got the integral of d theta divided by 4 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta. So the first step I always do is write down what d theta is and that's 2 du over 1 plus u squared. And Then we're going to have to replace sine and cosine. So sine theta is 2u over 1 plus u squared. Cosine theta is 1 minus u squared over 1 plus u squared. When you do that you get this horrendous mess. Now we have the integral of 2 du over 1 plus u squared divided by 4 times 1 minus u squared over 1 plus u squared plus 3 2u over 1 plus u squared. So let's clean that up a bit and you do some algebra you're going to get 2 times the integral of du over minus 4u squared plus 6u plus 4 
and this decomposes or we can factor the denominator so we have 2 times the integral of du over minus 2u plus 4 times 2u plus 1. Uh, now you probably recognize that we're going to have to do partial fractions here so we'll set up 1 over minus 2u plus 4 times 2u plus 1 equals a times or divided by minus 2u plus 4 plus b divided by 2u plus 1. So we need to find the constants a and b. So the first step is we're going to try to eliminate b. So we'll multiply both sides by minus 2u plus 4. And you're going to get 1 over 2u plus 1 equals a plus b times minus 2u plus 4 divided by 2u plus 1. Now the goal is to make b go away and we can do that if we set u equals to 2 because the numerator would be minus 2 times 2 plus 4 which would be 0. And when you do that, just some basic algebra, you find that a equals to 1 fifth. So now we'll do the same procedure to find b and this time we'll go back to the equation on the top and multiply by 2u plus 1 so you get 1 over minus 2u plus 4 equals a over minus 2u plus 4 times 2u plus 1 plus b. So we want to eliminate a this time and we can do that by setting u equal to minus 1 half and you'll find that b equals 1 fifth. It's just some algebra so we'll skip that. Alright so with the partial fractions we've converted 2 times the integral of du divided by minus 2u plus 4 times 2u plus 1 equals to 2 fifth integral du over minus 2u plus 4 plus 2 fifth integral du over 2u plus 1. And uh, to move to the next line I just pulled the 2 out of the denominator in the first integral. So we have 1 fifth integral of du over 2 minus u plus 2 fifths integral of du over 2u plus 1. Uh, you should recognize these as natural logs but we're going to have to do a substitution. So we'll do the first integral and we have v equals 2 minus u so in that case dv would be minus du and you get 1 fifth integral of du over 2 minus u is minus 1 fifth integral dv divided by v and of course that's just a natural log so we get minus 1 fifth natural log absolute value v equals minus 1 fifth natural log of 2 minus u and I'm ignoring the constant of integration for the moment because we're gonna have to add that on for both integrals so the other integral Uh, looks like there's a typo here. That should be 1 fifth integral du over 2u plus 1 and that would be 1 fifth natural log of 2u plus 1 using the same technique. So we would have 2 times the integral of du minus 2u plus 4 times 2u plus 1 and that turns out to be minus 1 fifth natural log of 2 minus u plus 1 fifth natural log of 2u plus 1 plus the constant of integration. So to get the answer we need to go back to our theta and well first of all we can simplify that using properties of natural logs. So that's 1 fifth natural log of 2u plus 1 over 2 minus u plus the constant of integration. And all we did there was use the fact that natural log of a minus natural log of b is natural log of a divided by b. All right, so now we just substitute for u. And remember, u is tangent of theta over 2. So now we've got the answer, which is 1 fifth natural log of 1 plus 2 tangent theta over 2 divided by 2 minus tangent theta over 2 plus a constant of integration. 
and recall with your natural logs to have your absolute value signs. Uh, so you can see that a rational expression involving a trig function, you're going to have to do u substitution, partial fractions, uh, natural log integrals. That's all common with these kinds of problems. So hopefully this will help you be able to tackle integrals of that type. And I invite you to visit our website at calculuswithoutlimits.com.